Here is today's videographer. We have Adam Black running the video camera today. And we also have my cousin Lucas Black helping out. This is what the net is in the package right now. We're gonna hook it up with ratchet straps like this. It's a bit windy out, but we're gonna use twine rope and ratchet straps to hook it up. And we shut out the final product today. Adam will be videotaping everything. Yep. Say hello to the viewers. Hi, how are you? So Adam did a great job videotaping there. Just to clarify, we did not actually use twine rope. We ended up using the ratchet strap to attach to a little rope piece that was attached at the end of the net. So first of all, this next video will show the ratchet straps being hooked up and then us using a little rope and that they had for us to tie to. So as Jack foreshadowed there, we did end up having to change it. It was not enough tension, so we had to move up the rope, create a new loop, and then hook it up to the ratchet strap. We ended up having to do the same thing on the other side where we had to make our own homemade loops because we couldn't use the rope ends because then it would be 55 feet and we didn't have 55 feet. So we created our own little loops there, and you can see us using those loops to hook it up to the ratchet strap and then set up the cage. Yeah. Oh wait, hook it up first and then I'll bring it up. So these next pictures you'll see is just the pictures of us together uh, celebrating this amazing achievement of putting up the cage and just us inside the cage taking a few photos. You'll see that. And then after you see those photos, you're going to see me in the barn showing you what it looks like now, what the cage setup looks like now and what the plans are for the future. So now we're in the barn. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like. So first of all, we didn't have enough tension. So we had to use these bungee cords to create tension to go out here since our brackets were too far off centered. Um, what I mean by off centered is that we didn't have them far enough out. So our brackets were too narrow and our, our net was too wide. Okay, so here's what the net looks like. And we're still gonna have to redo the floor and everything, but this is it right here. Come on in as if you're hitting. And there you go. The barnyard cage is indeed set up. And we'll be testing it out for the next uh, week or so. And then once we believe it's ready, we'll be sending you guys some invitations for an open house. And after that, we'll start doing lessons in here. I also want to thank the following people for giving me the chance to give lessons in the barnyard. My brother, Tony, my neighbor, Jack, my cousins, Adam and Lucas, my uncle, Paul, and my mother for all helping me out during this process and encouraging me throughout it and helping me set this up to have the ability to give lessons to the kids in this area and help them progress their game this off season.